Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Film Major YouTube channel where we talk about films, TV series and anime. On this episode we'll be talking about Batman and the Mask of Bruce Wayne. We're all familiar with the story. The Waynes go to watch the Mask of Zorro. Little Bruce gets scared and asks to leave. They take a shortcut down a dark alley and get held at gunpoint by Joe Chill. Chill kills both Martha and Thomas Wayne, but spares little Bruce. That's how the origin of Batman is commonly told. The part that all the stories don't address is the fact that there were three victims that fateful night. Bruce Wayne died in that alley. From the moment he stepped out, he was someone else. Something else. Batman. The Dark Knight. That's who he is now. In that alley, Bruce Wayne's soul was killed. In its place grew something dark and vengeful. He had been possessed by a spirit of vengeance. Bruce Wayne was just the face he wore to hide his anger and pain. His disdain for what this city had become. It was until later in his life when he returned to Gotham, having gained new skills from traveling around the world, that he could physically embody the spirit of vengeance that he had kept inside himself for so long. Batman remains one of the only superheroes to have their secret identity be their mask. Clark Kent wears the mask of Superman. Hal Jordan wears the mask of the Green Lantern while Batman wears the mask of Bruce Wayne. Then I found out about your mask. Batman's just a symbol, Rachel. No, oh, this is your mask. Your real face is the one that criminals now fear. The man I loved. The man who vanished. He never came back at all. This scene from Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins should serve as a benchmark for all Batman films going forward. It not only discusses the validity of Batman's fight, but also sheds light on the mask that is Bruce Wayne. That alone gives more to the character of Batman than any other Batman film has ever done prior and post Batman Begins. On to the latest iteration of The Dark Knight that we have yet to see, Matt Reeves' The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson. It is my hope that this iteration of Batman further explores the mask of Bruce Wayne and his true identity of Batman, but it would not only be a cinematic experience to behold, if done right, it could be a contender for various upcoming film awards. This is my firm belief. After all, Batman is one of the most iconic characters ever created, the bond of superheroes. His rogues gallery is a waiting, breeding ground of potential character studies that could all compete for any film award they wish, as Joker has already proven. What makes Batman such an iconic character? How does his character continue to stay relevant in changing times? Who is your favorite DC character? Comment down below. Thanks for watching, and this is the Film Major, signing out.